Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about this weather because, I mean, it, it sounds extreme, but you're serious. We have a little bit of everything. We have a little bit of everything. This is when the seasons aren't quite sure what they want to do, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, do you want it to be winter because we're getting snow? Do you want it to be spring because we're getting the storms? Fire danger, yep. wind, my goodness. Okay, but at least we get the beautiful sunrises, as you can see right here at the very large array down there in Socorro County. Then come the clouds in the afternoon. You can see that there is some rain in the background, mostly in the mountains, but a lot of that evaporated before it hit the ground. Here in Albuquerque, though, we were getting that mix of evaporating rain and then eventually later on this afternoon into the evening, some honest to goodness rain falling from the sky and hitting the surface, which was kind of a haul for the other storms, especially in those drier areas of the state. But yes, even though we did receive a little bit of rain within Albuquerque, we're talking about central portions of the city downtown and also in the South Valley. It did not rain over the Sunport, and that is where we record, or rather the National Weather Service records the official rain readings. So right now you can see that uh, as far as other areas go, still looking active, or at least sounding that way, with some lightning strikes that indicates thunder. Also in the Jemez Mountains, looking toward Santa Fe, just very light rain being reported in higher elevations. Not all of this is falling. We're also looking at some snow in the north central mountains, the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. As we get toward the rest of the evening, though, this little moisture, which a lot of this is just upper level moisture, is going to be moving out, and that's going to set the stage for a little bit of a quieter night across most of the area. The problem with that is there's moisture across the east, so there could be some fog restricting visibility tomorrow morning. Then we have a cold front. This is due to hit us tonight through tomorrow by about midday. It'll sweep across central New Mexico. That's going to pick up the winds. It's going to cause some fire danger across the southwest and the northwest area of the state. Meanwhile, we're looking at the possibility of some very high elevation and very far north mountain snow. And really, that's going to be more for Colorado. But we could get some of that in the northern Sangre de Cristo Mountains. And then finally, we're looking at a possibility of isolated severe thunderstorms. That means hail, high wind, maybe even a rogue tornado. That's what the classification means. I don't think we're going to be seeing any major outbreaks for tomorrow, but certainly keep it here on Channel 4 and make sure to download our weather app for all the weather alerts. Wednesday is going to be a windy day. A little bit of mountain snow left over in the north. It will be cooler because a cold front is going to sweep in by Wednesday night. That's going to kick up the winds uh, Wednesday night for central New Mexico. Thursday is a little bit of a transition day, so we sort of calm down. The wind is going to be easy going. It's going to be warm, and that sets the stage for the next little system. It's going to be a dry cold front, dropping the temperatures once again and causing wintry mix in the northeast area of the state. So all in all, a pretty active week. But as you know, not for everyone, especially when it comes to moisture. I think that we're going to continue to see that wind being an issue for the next few days in Roswell. Just a slight chance of showers tomorrow afternoon. 82 degrees in Deming, looking windy in Silver City and in Lordsburg. Also, that means dust problems along I-10. Across the northwest for tomorrow, another windy day, high fire danger. You might be under red flag conditions by tomorrow afternoon in Farmington. Across the North Mountains, this is a place where we're going to see a decent chance of some rain. Afternoon showers in Santa Fe and also very high elevation snow across the northeast. The possibility of severe thunderstorms near the Texas state line and for the East Mountains. It's going to be another windy day expecting to see better chances for some showers as we get into the afternoon. You know, for the Albuquerque Metro, it may look a lot like it did today with clouds in the area. Select few getting in on some rain, and that means a possibility for Rio Rancho and also the city of Albuquerque, but that's going to dry up by the end of the work week.